we do so much here at First Down Playbook and serve so many different coaching communities that sometimes even we overlook uh, some of the obvious questions that you might have out there. We had a flag football coach ask us uh, this uh, past several days if they had all the same functionality with flag football that you do with tackle football 7-on-7 seven seven and whatnot. And the, the answer is, of course, yes. We're in our playbook section right here. We just want to show you some of the things that you can do uh, as a flag football coach. So we know some of you are cranking that up right now. We created a uh, women's flag 7v7 playbook right here just to use as an example. But as we open this up, uh, some of the functionality that you have, and you can see we've got uh, 9 or 10 plays in here. One is that you can take an individual play, and we'll just go to the three dots to start with. You can share that play, print it, download it to your desktop or a folder, modify it, make a copy, or obviously remove it. And uh, as you open the play up, this is just one play. I mean, you've got the ability to flip it, uh, run it left or right. You can, uh, you have coaching notes in there, the whole bit. And once again, you can, you still have all that same functionality right here. Now, you can obviously modify that play, change it around the way you want it, save it into your playbook area, which is where we are right now. So let's go back, look at some of the other things that we can do. And we'll go to the uh, playbook area again. The other thing that you can do uh, is you can actually print the whole playbook. And so as I open this playbook up, and it's just a PDF rendering, but it comes in handy. Up here in the upper right hand corner, if I go to the print, not the drop down, I'll show you that in a second. If I go to print, what you're going to see is going to give you the ability to print a portrait or a landscape. Landscape is typically better for most first down playbook plays. And then you can take the coaching notes to the field if you want to or not, but we'll take them out right now. Once I do that, you're going to see that you get a table of contents and you also get all of your plays fitted exactly the way you want them on a landscape page with the number in the upper left hand corner. Very handy for teaching. Now, let's go back and look at that drop down for a second. A lot of flag football coaches like to use wrist sheets, wrist man sheets. You have the ability to come in and print out four to a, a side, six up or six up varsity, youth and varsity, just a little bit different size for the uh, size of the arm of the player. But we'll use the six up youth here just for a second. And it's the same thing. We make it very easy for you to get the tools, what you need to teach. So there's your wristband sheet. You can print it out, obviously cut it out and put it into your sheets, excuse me, your wristbands. All right, now, and the final thing, just want to show you, let's go back to the playbook area again. You have the ability with first down playbook, regardless if you're coaching flag, tackle, whatever, you now have the ability to use play grids. And all a play grid is, is just a, a place where you can come in and create uh, a deal where you have two, four, or six box and let's just go ahead, we'll open up a six box right here. It's not a flag football one, but you can see where you've got the ability to drop in six different plays, four different plays, or two different plays uh, on the same sheet with your coaching notes at the bottom. So yes, if you're a flag football coach, understand you have all the same functionality that you do as a tackle coach, and all of your plays will be found right here in the flag area, and uh, you can count on that growing uh, as we go through 2021 as well.